Fusing and slumping are two techniques that have been used for centuries. They can be used separately, but sometimes they're used together. Fusing consists of taking a number of separate pieces of glass, placing them side by side and heating them. As they heat, the pieces become soft, and when they cool, the softened edges of one piece sticks to its neighbor, and the several pieces are fused together into a single mass. Slumping consists of taking a piece of glass, it might be a piece of fused glass, and placing it in or over a former mold. The glass is heated, and as it becomes soft, it slumps. Slumping over a convex form or into a hollow form. And this is one of the methods that have been used for centuries to produce glass vessels. The Austrian glass artist Rudi Gritsch is preparing a very complex fusing and slumping project. Here he's laying strips of colored glass on the lower part of a mold. He places metal rods on the supports onto which will be placed strips of different colored glasses. The whole structure is being placed in a kiln because this will take place at a temperature of about 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. These are the strips of alternately clear and colored glass that will rest on top of the rods and slump downward through the gaps. At a temperature of about 1,400 degrees, over a period of about an hour, the glass flows downward through the gaps and eventually rests flush with the lower mass of glass. The kiln is kept hot until the upper surface becomes perfectly flat. After gradual cooling, the mass of glass is removed from the mold. The glass is cut into thin strips using a diamond saw. The strips are placed on a heat-resistant surface, a kiln shelf, placed in a kiln, and fused. After the fusing is complete and the kiln has been gradually cooled to room temperature, the project is removed. The flat piece of glass can be left as is, or it can then proceed to a slumping process. In slumping, a flat piece of glass is placed onto a mold or into a mold and gradually heated so that gravity lowers the glass onto or into the mold. In this case, the mold is a ring and the glass will drop through the hole in the ring downward as it softens. As the glass stretches, the decorative pattern is stretched and distorted correspondingly. <laughs>